Good morning everyone. So in today's video, me and Keelan are off to do something we've never done before. Okay, yeah, so we are now in a place called Kildare, which neighbours Dublin, so it wasn't too far of a drive. If you watched that first video in Longford, actually, my brother-in-law, Lester, it's his nephew who we're going to see because he lives on a barge and he's kindly invited us down to have a little look around. Uh, he's even agreed to take us on a little trip. So, um, yeah, I've never been on a barge before. Samantha's never been on a barge before, so we're definitely excited to see what this is like. We've been dying to see it for ages, <laughs> for so long now, so I'm so excited to see what it's like. God, it's a gorgeous day, isn't it? It is, yeah. Look at that sun. Oh my God, check them <laughs> out. So basically a barge is a houseboat. Yeah, <laughs> a house pretty water. much. Jesus, there's something else, aren't they? They are deadly. Okay, let's go check it out. <laughs> like Rosie and Jim. <laughs> <laughs> oh God. Oh. Oh my god, look at this. <laughs> oh, this is deadly. Oh. oh my god, I love it. Oh my god, that is look savage. This. this is deadly. This is well kitted out, my it god. Look nice. at the little fire and everything. Oh my and god, the it's plants. Huge. It is. It's huge. It's I am well impressed with this. This is deadly. It's deadly, isn't it? Even the interior and all, it's lovely, isn't it? The way they've done it out. like. God, it literally has everything you want, doesn't oh, it? Oh, it's gorgeous. You'd I want, want for nothing. One. Want you want one? one? <laughs> that's, a, that's a camper van no, we want. Yeah. Lovely, isn't it? It's so nice. <laughs> See, now oh, that I'm after seeing it, I'm like, I want one now. <laughs> a camper now we van, want the barge. now we want a barge. I love the little stove books. here. Look at yeah, all the logs. And all the wood and stuff like that, yeah. God, it'd be real cosy, wouldn't it? cosy is that, I know. It would be real cosy. And it's actually quite spacious, isn't it? It's really spacious. It is. Yeah, there is some smaller ones. This is a large one. Yeah, like, but it looks a bit. This is quite a big one compared to some of them. Isn't but, it? Um, and it's actually quite wide and then if you see down here it uh, it goes down they're quite long as well Richard was just telling us it is 57 feet in length and it's what did he say how many tons 17 tons 17 tons. tons yes we are right here now at the I suppose the engine room this thing right here is called a teller or tiller and it's used to uh, to steer the boat and um, right here you've got some dials this little dial here makes it go forward and back the engine is underneath here, underneath that panel of wood, and then the propeller is right underneath our feet here. So he did say that we were going to go for a little spin, and he also said that we could we could drive it. We could drive it. <laughs> it. It's the Grand Canal here, so at the minute we are here, right? Okay. So from here, you can go all the way out to Shannon, right? You can go all the way down to Limerick, or go all the way up to Bleak in Donegal. Jesus. All the way up here. So I'm also loving this design that's all over the boat. It's called a Castle and Roses design. That's called Castles and Roses, and it's a, ah. one, it's a traditional yeah. feature of English narrowboats. Ah, okay. Yeah. Ah, oh, look at that. Okay. Let me see. That is deadly. Yeah, it's pretty cool, isn't it? Yeah, I, I think really it basically, like it. yeah, I think, as Matt was saying there, it does symbolise a, a traditional English narrowboat, which yeah. is what I think this is. It's unreal. It's got solar panels there as well, which, well, which really amazing, minimalistic yeah. living, isn't it? Like, really, I mean, they, really they kind is. of just can live off what they have, which is amazing. So. I love it. I love it. <laughs> I love it. Jesus, the little window and all, it's so crack. Isn't it? <laughs> it's so crack. As you can see, as I was saying there a second ago, these are the solar panels as well. So he was saying that they can basically charge laptops, charge all their in internal. Everything, yeah. And all yeah, the lights are LED, LED lights. So well, yeah, so Jesus, um, something else, isn't it? Yeah, like no bills. <laughs> no bills. <laughs> so there's more of that design there that we were talking about on the windows. They're on the inside of the windows, basically, Gorgeous. yeah. They've also got a water tank, and as you can see here, there's a, a tap conveniently placed right beside it, so you can just fill up their water tank right there. We just got our coffees, we got a nice sambo, and we're gonna have some lunch on the boat. <laughs> Conveniently placed right beside this pub here. Talk about prime location. 
So we're now here coming up to the front of the barge as you can see. Okay, so Richard is going to take us on a little trip down the canal, so let's go, I'm excited. <laughs> okay, so we're going to stick her on. Gear up. <laughs> we're ready to go. We're ready to go. Right, so Matthew, you've been given an important job. I have. Hopefully, I do it right now. Oh yeah, so it's actually in a knot here, is it? Oh there. Jesus, you're a natural. A natural. Here we go. Am I hired? There we go. It's there. And that's Shots how it's done. <laughs> okay, so we're, we're technically off. moving. So Richard and Lucy have kindly given us life vests, uh, safety force and all that, so you've got yours as well? In case I fall in. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, look at this. This is great. Deadly, isn't it? <laughs> this is great. Little window. Little window there. <laughs> Now, could you imagine sitting there now looking out? I know, it's so relaxing. It's so relaxing. The water is so close to you, like. I know, yeah. It's a lot closer to you when you're actually in the boat. Yeah. Than it is standing on the uh, on the side. Yeah. Yeah, when you're in it, because the boat is like half it's under down, the yeah. water. Okay, yeah, so Samantha has been given the opportunity to steer the boat. <laughs> there should be some crack. Now, yeah. Or a bit more. More like yeah. this? A bit more. A bit more. More? More. Yeah. Like this? You can see it's not turning in that way. Yeah. Okay. It's starting to straighten up. Jesus, fair blade to you. Okay, so like keep it here. No, no towards no. you. Yeah, towards me. It's not going that way, you know? Here? <laughs> oh god. <laughs> Are you nervous? Yeah, I don't want to crash it. <laughs> <laughs> I'd say it just takes you a while to get used to it and then yeah. you just know the rhythm sort of of it. Yeah. yeah. So when are we getting one? <laughs> Okay, so we have our first lock experience. Hopefully it all goes well. <laughs> <laughs> we'll have to excuse our ignorance, we don't know what this entails. We've never done this before, so we'll, we'll do our best, hopefully. Right, so Samantha, you're holding the ropes and I have to jump. You have to jump. Right. <laughs> so be careful with the camera. Oh yeah, don't mind me. <laughs> Not nervous at all. Right, there's the jump, it's only a good 12 feet. <laughs> Best of luck. Oh good, right. Right, nice and easy. Nice yeah. And easy. Yeah. Right. Where's the door? Yeah. Right. Bye. Bye. Where did I throw the rope? I'm not sure yet. No, no, not yet. yet. I'm all right for now. A bit of time. <laughs> this is some setup. Okay, so for those of you who don't know what a lock is, basically we just pull in here and then the water gets higher and that allows the stem to go forward. So we just got to stall for a minute, let the water in, raise the boat, and then we'll be able to go forward. How do you feel? I think you're doing a great job. Basically what's going to happen is all around us is going to get filled with water that's going to elevate the boat and then we can, yeah, exactly. Now open. Yep. Look, we're open. Now it's full of water, which means we can continue. 
<laughs> I feel like I should be doing something else. <laughs> My hands are shaking. <laughs> Holding it so tight, it was hard. I didn't think Holden. it was going to be that difficult. Yeah. yeah. A lot of strength you need for it, yeah. The gates are open, so we did well. Did I do a good job? <laughs> We're still, we're still afloat. <laughs> okay. The boat's not on fire, so we're all right. Well, that was an experience. <laughs> you definitely need a lot of experience. Lucy and Richard are well used to it. Yeah, I'm not. They're pros. <laughs> that was my first time, but uh, I think I did an alright job. You did. We have this cool little coffee place right beside the uh, the canal, right beside the lock. So yeah, we're going to stop and get a couple of coffees. After all your hard work, you deserve a nice yes. coffee. <laughs> so would you like anything to eat? Uh, um, no, no right. that's it. Just no the coffees. Yeah. Thank you. So nice thank you. Thank you. Oh, thank you. Right, time to get back on the boat. Oh my god, it's so much fun. It is. I know it's we so see each video fun. that we're gonna, you know, when we see the camper van, it was like we're getting a camper van. When we see the horse caravan, it was like we're buying a horse caravan. But yeah, we want a boat. <laughs> we want a barge, and we're seriously considering it. Yes, it's definitely something that I would love yeah. to get as a barge. It's just, yes. it's so much fun. The freedom of it, it's great. We're going back through the lock now, and as you can see, we are, have been lowered down, the gates are about to open and this bridge right here in front of us is called the Digby Bridge and 1794 has written on it, that's when it was built, yeah. yeah. 1794, that is, is crazy. Way back in the day that they used to transport, yeah. like everything. Guinness and things like that yeah. to the rest of the, it's crazy, the, rest isn't of the it? country, yeah. Put it on these big barges and then just send them all through the country, through this way. Okay, so we're now going to go through the bridge. The Digby Bridge. So see the way they've pulled in now. Oh, so we're yes, coming down the canal and there's not enough room. Yeah. So one of the boats, they're just gonna pull into the side. To let us go by. And let us go by. All you have to give them the wave. Here, Samantha, make sure you give them the wave I'll now. Give them the wave. All I the think boats the, are so nice. The boat they? wave is the, uh, is the, that. Oh, is it? Yeah. I'm just you better do that. Hello. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> I think, yeah, I think the wave on the boat is that. Not too sure. <laughs> I love all the different designs, do you? Each one has their own kind of. They their all own have the, look. their unique little yeah. look about them. Yeah, they're gorgeous. They're yeah. so nice. And they all have their own names. Look at the pink one up here. See, they're all so different. Like, yeah, they are. They yeah, all they're all so little, different. It's their own little design. They're big. I can't go over the size yeah. from the inside because yeah. they don't look as big from the outside. And yeah. then it's when you're in it, I know, yeah. it's so spacious. You won't miss that one. Yeah, definitely not. <laughs> You'll actually be able to see behind me here, this one here. It's called Easy Living. As I said, perfect it. name for perfect a boat. Name, but this one right here is a wide beam. You can see it's a little bit wider, a little bit bigger. Any idea how old this one is, this boat? I don't know. Did Richard you said 29 years of age. 29 he thinks, years yeah, of age. Yeah, he thinks 29 years of age, so it's not even 30 yet. Oh, I'm older than it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we have finally made it back. We're about to moor the boat. Is that right? Moor. 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 Moor, yeah, which is boat talk for. Parking basically, so we're just gonna park back up. Sorry for any 
boat aficionados. We're back where we started. We're back where we started. So, back on land. Back on land. Don't fall, Keelan. A How great experience. Oh my god, it was yeah, brilliant. It was I want this. a barge. <laughs> <laughs> I want to live on a barge. <laughs> I do, honestly. <laughs> So we're going to head for a lovely point now to finish off a great day. Thanks so much everyone for watching the video. We really hope that you enjoyed it. Uh, big thanks to Richard and Lucy for uh, giving us a glimpse into life on a barge. We had a great time and uh, yeah, just thanks for uh, taking time out of your day to, uh, to show us around. And also a big thanks for our lovely this little cool, gifts yeah. that we got. Look how cute it is, it comes in this cute little bag. So the Lonesome Boatman, basically Richard runs his own business and he makes his own skincare products. Yes, this right here is a beard balm, which is pretty cool. I've also got a couple of other lip uh, balms as well. I'm just reading here, they are all made with vegan products, all natural products. They're also all made on the boat as all well. So even the um, even the making of it is all done by the, uh, the solar. Uh, power that they use on the boat as well, which is pretty cool. What did you get in your bag? What did I get? I got a body balm, a lavender. <laughs> see it there? A lavender body balm. Sweet. Let me smell this. Sweet. Oh, it smells gorgeous. I yeah, love lavender. I smell really, really lavender, nice. Yeah. I'm dying to try that out now because I do this like to one use here is a, is a body balms and then mild I also lemon got mint lip balm. Lip balm. I got two lip balms as Ooh. well. Lavender and a grapefruit. Oh, very nice. Two of them there as well. Very nice. Yes, yeah, so as Matt was saying, the lonesome mm, boatman.ie really nice. is the name of the website. We will leave the link in the description. With Christmas coming up, it looks like the uh, one of the nice perfect gifts, gifts exactly. Yes, yeah, so yeah, and we'll, like that they come in a cute little bag. Absolutely, yes. Yeah, so we'll leave the link to lonesomeboatman.ie in our description. Go and check it out. So yeah, as I said, we really hope that you enjoyed the video and of course if you did, please give it a thumbs up because it will really help our channel and also if you enjoy our videos, please subscribe to the channel. You can also follow us on Instagram at GoTimeTravels. Um, so yeah, that's it for this video. We had a great time again. Thanks to Richard and Lucy, Lucy. For, uh, for showing us around and yeah, we'll see you in the next one.